Good morning. Welcome to Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in conjunction with the Movement Studio. My name is Enyola Olatunji, and with me is Wasiu Ali. So this week we have a lot of fantastic data coming out and economic news. Starting today, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing the headline inflation figure. Wasiu, who do you think a March inflation figure is going to print at? Well, um, the March inflation figure is expected to hit 32 percent, according to financial derivative company. 32 percent. Yes. So, um, you know, um, certain things fuel inflation, um, some of which are high energy cost, high uh, food prices, high food prices, exchange rate fluctuations, and insecurity. Oh, wow. Because all of this, um, you know, fuel inflation, and um, Nigeria's inflation. February was at 1.7 percent. So now uh, it is, you know, it is projected to hit 32 percent. So that's 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 a lot. Yes, it is and, a lot. And um, um, FDC sees the the the, the inf- projected. Yeah, they see the figure coming down after May June. That is after the federal government must have done if a wage review. That will so be some bre- um, fresh of breath air. Yes. Can't wait for prices so, of food to generally decrease. We're hoping, we're hoping that that will happen. In, in, in May or June, yeah. there are both. So I heard that the um, federal government would have uh, a bond auction today. Yes. So what do you see to yes. that? Yes, the federal government through the debt management office will be issuing a 450 billion naira 450 bond. billion naira. Yes, it's just 450 billion compared to the first quarter. In the first quarter, we had a 2.5 trillion bond auction. But this quarter, the, the federal government had of front-loaded most of its debt. So this quarter, there will be only about 300 to 600 billion every month, according to its calendar. So there will be three bond auctions, three tranches of the bond auction today, which is um, a five-year, a new five-year bond, and then a seven and 10 years reopening. So yeah, people, investors should watch out for today's bond auction. So any other, why, why 450 billion Naira? Like I said earlier, they had already done most of their borrowings in the first quarter. 2.5 trillion bond auction in the first quarter was a lot. Wow. So now they are taking like steps back to just borrow in little, in small portions. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, the UK, yeah, the UK, back to the UK now. Yes, okay. to the UK. The UK will be um, releasing its uh, unemployment data for February. Mm-hmm. So what do you what do you see to that data? Yeah, um, the UK's data is quite important because. The unemployment data, the Bank of England has been waiting for the unemployment data, especially the wage growth. It is expecting that the wage growth would slow down and this will inform its decision on whether to cut rates or leave rates at where it is. Mm -hmm. So now if they decide to cut rates, for emerging markets like Nigeria, Ghana and other African countries, Mm -hmm. it would mean that investors, our securities are very attractive to UK investors, they will come here because I mean, we're offering better. Yeah, that's that's just what it means. And it seems like this week is for the UK because on Wednesday they will also be releasing their inflation data. Now the UK has been doing well. Um, its inflation went down to three to three point four percent from eleven percent in twenty twenty two. Wow. What do you think March inflation will print out? Well, investors are betting that um, the uh, figure will tumble further. In the second quarter, mm. um, given that for January uh, the UK's inflation figure was up on zero percent, and it fell to three point eight percent in in February. February. So, um, won't you be happy if that happens in Nigeria inflation figure? <laughs> well, of course, everybody will be happy if that happens. Uh, a lot of things uh, will go down, prices of goods, commodities will fall. And you know that that will bring a fresh air to the economy. Speaking of prices of goods and commodity commodity falling, this week we expect some energy reports. That is um, the PMS, which is the Petroleum Motor Spirit and Diesel Prices reports this week. Please tell me that these reports that we're expecting, some of these figures are going to come down. <laughs> well, <laughs> unfortunately, that might not be happening soon. Uh, you know, um, oil production dipped. In March, according to yes, OPEC. Yes, according to OPEC. So we uh, we expect that the figure uh, marginally increased again. Uh, w- the removal of fuel subsidy by the president Bola Tinubu's administration, you know, has seen the price it tripled from 238 in May, 
and now for February the price was six hundred. Average price of PMS was six hundred seventy nine naira. So all of these have you know made transport fare uh, increased significantly and also causing uh, a cost of living crisis. Yes, you it know, has so had a ripple effect on everything. On every sector food, of the economy, food, transport, everything. Transport, everything you could probably think about. Yeah, so so also, um, we should be expecting uh, a, it, a, a price watch for automotive gas or diesel yeah. this week. Um, diesel also has, has, uh, has seen an increase from 800 Naira, which it was last year to about Another 1000 increase. yes to about 1279 era which it is now so um given that um dangode refineries uh, oil production increases you know so it will see the prices deflate further so what we need now particularly is production high production mm. all of this will see the prices of things come down away from higher prices of goods and services the naira has been making us proud we need yes. to give it to the naira and we have we have to give it to the cbn for making this happen yes last week the naira closed on friday at 8142 naira that is Quite impressive very very impressive to think to think any lot to think that naira was eating was reaching about one nine early february uh, it was something because i had to like be paying for when i had to pay for things a thousand nine hundred was a loss for me now i'm excited to go and shop and buy anything as so that's price. that's 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 the kind of relief um, um the, the currency gives when it comes down yeah. so um N- nigeria's local currency is according to economics from goldman sachs is the world's top performing currency. What do you see to that anyway? Uh, that is great news. And just, we've, we've been seeing a lot of things all day and this is great news for, for everyone. And we hope that the Naira will continue on this part next week. It's set to reach a thousand Naira, Naira or even less. And this is due to people selling. Yeah, yes, there's it, a panic. There's, there's a, a panic. panic sell. Everybody's panicking. They're trying to They're sell off their dollars. Selling off their dollar. And okay, we hope that this trajectory uh, continues and sustained and we hope that the federal government also uh, complement the efforts of the cbn through its physical responsibilities so that'll be all for today thank you for watching thank you um don't forget to follow us on our social media and do at business dng and for more in-depth analysis of the report we have told you you can look up for it on www.businessday.ng on our website thank you for watching once again my name remains wasiu ali and I'm Inyola Olatunji. You can follow us on all of our social media platforms at Business Day NG.